hello guys welcome to this video and we're going to, today we're going to talk about uh, networking models and get to understand what are networking models and the uh, what role they play on a network or a uh, uh, how they help us define different components in a network and uh, basically uh, we have two models which is osi and cpap model and we're going to start the osi model the OSI model stands for the Open Systems Interconnect model and contains seven layers which are abbreviated by the acronym All People Seem to Need Data Processing uh, that is the uh, application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. So uh, the acronym just helps us to understand or uh, get to like, the layers from the first to the last. So we're going to go through each of these layers and get to understand uh, what each entails. The physical layer entails uh, the transmission media that is used in a network. It could be copper cables or fiber cables. Copper cables use electromagnetic waves in data transmission while uh, fiber cables use light. Uh, copper cables we could have three types of cables that is coaxial cables, twin axial cables and twisted pair cables. The difference between these is that the uh, coaxial cable will have one copper strand, twin axial cable will have two copper strands and twisted pair cable will have a pair of a uh, uh, four pairs of a uh, copper cables or copper strands. Uh, in fiber cables we have single mode fiber and multi mode fiber and these uh, are uh, the single mode and multi mode are defined by the thickness of the glass that is uh, making up the fiber cable. Here is a demonstration of the coaxial cable, the twisted pair cable and the pin axial cable as well as uh, these are fiber cable which is single mode. They usually either orange or uh, yellow in color well multi mode uh, blue in color now let us come to the second layer which is a uh, data link layer also referred to as layer 2 and deals with the uh, MAC addresses which are media access control addresses and these MAC addresses come uh, on a network interface card which is uh, on each device that is able to connect on the, to the internet or to a network a MAC, ad a MAC addresses are 48 bits in length uh, that is an example as uh, shown on the screen and uh, in data link here we mainly talk of switching concepts which we are going to talk in another or a later video the third layer we're going to talk about is the network layer it is commonly referred to as uh, layer 3 and uh, uh, uses IP addresses uh, 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 in terms of identification remember in layer in layer 2 we are talking of MAC addresses now in layer 3 we talk of IP addresses IP addresses help us identify devices logically on a physical network and are 32 bits in length and uh, mainly in layer 3 or the network layer we talk of routing concepts now let us go to the fourth layer, which is the transport layer. It is mainly involved with the type of connection formed between communicating devices and could be a connection oriented or a non connection oriented uh, uh, connection. Now, basically, we have two types of connection when it comes to the transport layer we have TCP and uh, UDP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and is a connection oriented protocol which means if a packet is lost during transmission then we get to retransmit and uh, that packet is recovered. In UDP, if a packet is lost during transmission then that packet cannot be recovered. It is lost forever. Now, the, here is a display of the TCP header and the UDP header. As you can see the TCP header is quite detailed that is why it is a connection oriented uh, uh, protocol while UDP uh, 
has layers on its header that's why it's a non-connection oriented protocol we're going to be talking about ip version 4 and ip version 6 in other videos and in those videos we're going to look at the headers that uh, uh, are in the ip version 4 and the uh, ip version 6 headers basically we, they are going to be tcp headers in the fifth uh, layer we talk about the session layer and this layer is basically involved with establishing managing uh, or monitoring and uh, terminating of sessions between communicating parties this is where we talk of the three-way handshake and the four-way handshake uh, so that is basically when it comes to the session layer the presentation layer generally is used to encode or translate data formats to ensure that the application layer of one system can be identified by the application layer of another system uh, mainly it is involved with the compatibility of platforms uh, for example windows platform a uh, mac os platform and the linux based platforms to ensure that if data can be viewed on a windows machine it can also be viewed on a mac os machine now on the final layer which is the application layer it is mainly concerned with providing interfaces for applications that is port numbers uh, examples of uh, uh, ports that we uh, common ports that we have we have uh, http which is a web service runs on port uh, 80 telnet which is a remote uh, uh, connection to machines and runs on uh, port 23 uh, file transfer protocol which is ftp runs on port 20 and 21 dns runs on port 53 these are just a few, there are many more. I believe uh, we are going to cover that in a later video. We are going to talk about all uh, or uh, most of the port numbers that we have and uh, what services they offer, since port numbers are gateways to certain services on the internet. Now, when you're talking about the TCPIP model since we have covered the OSI model. The TCPIP model uh, generally comes uh, either in two forms depending on uh, what materials you go through or uh, you read. Now, uh, in the TCPIP model, the three upper layers in the OSI model are, are usually joined together to form one layer which is the application layer. Uh, and in the four version of the TCPIP model, the lower two the OSI model that is the physical and the data link layer are rejoined into one which is called the internet access or referred to as the internet access layer. I believe that is generally it when it comes to uh, networking models. Thank you for watching this. Uh, watch out for my next video.